Well, a $10,000 grant is allowing some students at Porter Elementary to get an out of this world experience from in and out of the classroom. 41 NBC's Emanuela Rendini visited a class today that's benefiting from the new technology. Manny. Michael, back in July, teachers at Porter Elementary received grants totaling more than $30,000 for the Teach to Inspire project. It challenged teachers to teach students with more innovative projects. Fun is always in one classroom at Porter Elementary School. When I set up the room, I can sit back and watch. I'm the facilitator, and they're driving their own learning. They're, they're engaged. Jane Gammons challenges her students to learn with activities she created with the help of the Teach to Inspire project by the Peyton Anderson Foundation. We want them to learn to do advanced research, again, with topics that they choose. So, um, the materials, the computers, the STEM materials really help us take on projects that take more time and we can go in depth with our learning. Gammons is using a $10,000 grant to teach students about ancient civilization in an innovative way. The grant has allowed Gammons to purchase laptops, materials for class, go on field trips, and also buy a virtual reality system that students love. I think this is really cool. That is virtual reality, and it's not in real life, but you get to travel all around the world to see certain places. Principal Cammie Hamlin says Gammons teaches her students with active learning. You see kids just around the country, just passive. They're sitting and they're getting information, but this is making them create information, create learning, and I think that's really key to learning and keeping kids engaged. Gammons says one of her favorite parts about the grant are the field trips the students take. They recently took one to Amerson River Park where students built tools that people during ancient civilization time used. When we were on the field trip, I did think, wow, if the board members of the Peyton Anderson Foundation could be here now, if they could have been with us on the rocks, been with us at the pond, they would have really, I think, um, felt good about the money that they gave us. A teacher with many ideas, grateful for what she can do with her students. Now, Bibb County Schools received a total of more than $500,000 for the Teach to Inspire project. Michael? The Payne Anderson Foundation approved more than 100 grants for schools in Macon. Thank you, and Manuela.